What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. So, I want to come through right quick and just talk about Amber Riley's engagement. You know, and congratulations to her. Um, she recently got engaged. And I kind of want to talk about that and as well make comparisons between, you know, Blackistan's reaction to Amber Riley's engagement versus their reaction to Gabourey Sidibe's engagement. So you may or may not know, but Amber Riley and Gabourey Sidibe both got engaged around the same time, more or less. And, you know, it seems like a lot more people are more so focused on Gabourey Sidibe's engagement versus Amber Riley's engagement. And people are more so focused on Gabourey Sidibe's engagement. They have like criticisms of it, even though those same criticism can criticisms can be applied to Amber Riley's engagement too. And you know Amber Riley and Gabourey Sidibe are both uh, plus size black women. Amber Riley is a brown skin plus size black woman. And Gabourey Sidibe is a dark skin plus size black woman. Amber Riley is engaged to a black man, and Gabourey Sidibe is engaged to a white man. You know? And honestly, really, I feel like the community, I know there's probably some black women at least who would be celebrating either both engagements or either Amber Riley's engagement. Uh, but overall, I do feel like more so Amber Riley's engagement has been like ignored and not really celebrated as much and not really talked about, even though we're all supposed to be, you know, about black love, right? It's all about black love. And I feel like people are just ignoring that engagement just because one is probably just something that doesn't really concern them or something that doesn't really interest them. Also, I think people are more concentrated on Gab on Gabby's engagement um, because of the interracial aspect to it. Because I think that is probably more so the focus. Because if Gabourey Sidibe was engaged to the black male equivalent of her white fiance, I feel like this would largely go ignored and unnoticed, right? And also, again, congratulations to Amber Riley on her engagement. Um, although I do know that Amber Riley, as well as Gabby, they both met their fiancés on social media or via social media. Um, Amber Riley said that she slid into her fiance's DMs, <laughs> right? And, you know, some folks have some issues with that, um, particularly some black women have some issues with that and whatnot. Um, but nevertheless, that was how it kind of went. And when it came, when it comes to Gabby, she met her husband through a particular dating app that's more so for like um, you know, select Hollywood folk, I think, or, you know, um, people in a certain tax bracket, perhaps. Um, it's like an exclusive dating app. Like anyone can't sign up for it. You have, it has to, you have to go through some things to get into it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she met her fiance through a dating app and he, you know, reached out to her first. From what I heard, from what Gabby says, she was actually on the dating app looking for black men. Um, but she wasn't able to encounter any on the dating app for some reason or another. And it got to a point where she thought that there were just no black men on the dating app. But come to find out through a friend of hers who is non-black, who's a non-black woman, and who uses the dating app as well, there are black men on it. But they just weren't checking for her. Now, they could be black men who just weren't checking for her because she is plus size or because of, you know, being color struck. 
or both, you know. <clears throat> but nevertheless, they weren't checking for her, and she said she even tried to, you know, fool with the algorithm, but that didn't work. Um, but, you know, seemingly, that just wasn't what was in store for her, you know. So, just wanted to throw that out there right quick. But yeah, I noticed that people aren't really making videos about Amber Riley's engagement one way or another. Either, oh, it's so positive and it's awesome and it's black love, which usually black women celebrate. Or either, oh, you know, Amber, you might want to watch out for that guy. You know, he might be trying to use you for a come up, which has been known. Um, I'm not sure if um, Deshaun's, I think that's his name. Deshaun Black. I'm not sure of his tax bracket. Um, he seems to be more so, sort of like along the lines of like a fitness guru, um, or perhaps like a fitness and fashion guru. Um, yeah, that's what he calls himself an entrepreneur, fitness and fashion savage. That's how what he refers to himself as, right? Um, and so that's seemingly, I guess, his hustle, you know, doing fitness type stuff. And that may have been what attracted Amber Riley to slide into Deshaun's DMs, right? <laughs> she probably saw them fitness guru photos and was like, hey, ho, ho, away I go. All right. But I don't really see people... You know, Blackistan, I don't really see Blackistan really giving this guy the third degree or giving this relationship the third degree. Like, folks are coming at Gabby, right? Why is that? And this is both black men and black women in um, the community. The community. But why do you think that is? It does seem like when it comes to these relationship dynamics and it's a black man and a black woman, then it's like, well, you know, money and finances aren't everything. You know, black love will see us through. And rah, 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 sis, boom, bah. All right. Seemingly, the standards become low much lower to the point where it's like well are there much standards at all like the bar gets set really low right but when it comes to this relationship dynamic and it's interracial then the standards become a lot higher and i'm not necessarily knocking the standards being higher when it comes to dating interracially but i'm knocking that the standards aren't across the board. It seems like the standards become really lax when it's like, oh, two black folks, you know, like, oh, it's black love, you know. Folks love to throw that out there too. Especially black women, but some black men will throw it out there too just to derail the conversation, right? And just make it so, oh, we should just be happy two black folks got together. <laughs> You know, we should just be happy that black love happening and they're going to have some black power children. Sure enough. Right? You know, when it's a black woman, quote unquote, dating down. And to be fair, there are levels to dating down. You know, there are levels to it. Because I'll say that gap. Um, Gabby, she is dating down, but it may work for her. Sometimes you can get to a situation where it can kind of still work. At least, you know, if you're, say, if Gabby, I won't, I'll just say like if, say the woman makes like a million dollars a year and the husband makes maybe between two fifty and $500,000 a year. I think you can kind of work with that. It may not be the most ideal situation when it comes to finances, but that's still workable, especially for someone who's, you know, in Gabby, 
in her situation and her position. And I think Gabby may just be a bit more realistic with herself and honest with herself and saying, you know, weighing out her options and just say, you know, this may just be the best option for me, you know. So dating down in a situation like that could work. Um, but there's also dating down where it's like the woman may make a, make a million dollars a year and the husband may bring home $20,000 a year <laughs> or less. Then that is, that's dating down, but that's dating way down. Right? And I won't be surprised... <clears throat> I could see it happening with Gabby too, but definitely with Amber. I won't be surprised if I see her husband or well, her fiance end up becoming her manager. I could see that happen with Gab um, Gabby too, but to a lesser extent. Um, that's something that happens too, where the wife ends up putting the husband on. That was hap that what happened. That's how kind of like it went with Wendy Williams and her husband. Look at the situation Wendy's in. Like she done built a brother up. She showed it. She done built this man up from the bottom floor. And now look what happened. He done took all that she helped him get and moved on to another woman. And I know I'm pretty sure Wendy's feeling salty about that and she ha probably has to pay out some money even still but you know Blackistan ain't really talking much about that now if Wendy Williams got caught up with a, a white man in a situation like that oh this would be a field day in Blackistan in the community this would we would still be talking about this in the community about her getting got You know, when the black men get the black women, you know, the community tends not to be as vocal about that. But when, you know, non-black men, especially white men, get the black woman, get her caught up, oh, we got a lot to say. All of a sudden, we got a, all these high standards, and it's not okay to build a brother up no more. Oh, they meant a brother, not a brother. But yet... Yeah, that concept is thrown out there too about building a black man up <laughs> I don't really see that being thrown out there for black women like you know hey you know this black woman may need some help losing weight you know let's help this sister out here right this black woman may need some help getting her fashion sense together or something Maybe we could help her out here. You know, maybe she needs to be encouraged to embrace her natural hair texture more. Let's help her out here. Let's help build this black woman up. You don't really be hearing all that about that. It's like the black woman, you got to come correct. You got to come already established. Come already assembled. <laughs> With um, black men, it's like, you know, here's the package. Some assembly is, requ is required. Some are like, assembly will be required. But I'll bring this video to a close. You know, but I just want to put the, put the question out there. You know, should black women relax their standards when it comes to black men? Or should black women raise their standards? And for black women who are open to interracially dating, should black women increase their standards or just keep the same standards that they have with black men? You know, do you think it should be just standards across the board? Do you think that there should be differences when it comes to standards? Well, you think about this, you know, and this is important because this is affecting black women. And I'll say when it comes to the community and standards that black women have for black men if they're too high they're going to let you know if the standards are too low they're going to let it they're going to let it flow <laughs> that's just what it is 
But thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Adios and goodbye for now.